This is the ultimate style and grooming guide to London, really pulling together some of my favorite places in grooming, the best barber shops around, and also some of the best shopping experiences in London. Now we're gonna be going all over London in this guide, but I wanted to start with somewhere that you might not know. Now this is called Drops Yard. It was opened at the end of 2018 and is literally a stone's throw away from King's Cross. Now, as the name suggests, this used to be a cool yard. And now, not only does it look great, but it features some great clothing stores, restaurants, and one of my favorite men's hair salons, Manifesto. I've been coming to Manifesto for about a year and I either get my hair cut by Reno or by Mikey, who I've got here. Now they go by an ethos of cut technically, style naturally, which I should say doesn't really sit comfortably with my hairspray ethos, but I go with it and I always get such a solid haircut from them. From Cold Drops Yard, we're gonna make our way down into town to see some of the best barber shops and also the shopping destinations. Now in this video, I'm really excited to be working with HP on their Spectre Folio. Now this device not only looks great, being 100% leather bound, but it also works on the go with their 4G connectivity with the Intel processor. Oxford Street is the mecca for high street shopping. Some might think it's heaven, others hell. Stores like Top Man, John Lewis, H&M, Zara, Uniqlo, to department stores like Selfridges and Liberty of London. It is all here. This is Liberty London. This is one of my absolute favorite shopping destinations. Now, this is just off Oxford Street and at the top of Carnaby Street. It was first opened in 1875 on Regent Street by Arthur Lazenby Liberty. And then this building was opened in 1924. You'll see some of the timber rafters. Those are from two Navy battleships. For me, the most exciting thing is the fragrance. This is literally like sensory delight. Again, you know, the fragrances that I recommend, that I say I like and I say who they'd suit, you need to be getting in and spraying them and seeing actually what they're like. The labels become a bit like the uniform for the cool kids. Quite often I say to someone, what are you wearing? And they will be wearing Santel 33. And again, get in here, give everything a spritz hmm. and see what you think. Literally could spend all day in here. Frederick Mal, really great brand. Wilhelm Parfumerie, I featured the Basilico and Fellini. Again, sort of these niche brands which are available just off Oxford Street. If there's nothing else that you buy from Dittique, get a candle. Not cheap, but you do get the little cute ones here. These are the brands that I see online, or see on online stores, or see on other blogs. But you only kind of know what they're like when you get into a store like Liberty London. Touch them, feel them, put them on. Some of my favourites, APC, Norse Projects, where these treads are from, Ami behind here, a Parisian brand, and the shoes. The shoes are on another level. You might think that Liberty London is just going to be super expensive, but you actually have a, like a broad range of brands at different price points, anything from Puma behind me, up to Stella McCartney, Burberry, Gucci. So really, choice is yours. If you're looking for a cool and contemporary barber shop, then Johnny's Chop Shop, just off Carnaby Street, is one to go into. Neon lights, pin-up culture, and a couple of Playboy magazines. Really, they've got the aesthetics nailed. Also, they've created their own range of products, which I'm sure some of you guys will have seen in boots. Murdoch have got a couple of shops over the city, but this one is one of my favorite. The staff are always so welcoming, and I think it is just the epitome of a gentleman's barber. Pop in, get a whiskey on arrival, and leave feeling refreshed and revived. On a day like today where the weather just can't make up its mind, this is where you want to be now. This was created in 1818 by the first Earl of Burlington, really to take all that fine jewellery, all the expensive stuff off the mean streets of London. And now you've still got the amazing piece of jewellery, watches, rings, but you've also got fragrances, bags and shoes. Now 
And uh, we obviously know my mate Killian. The best thing is, if you have a little spritz and there's something you want to try on your skin, Marilyn here will do a little bespoke sample for you. This place is the ultimate luxury hidden gem. Just off Barclay Square, Bruton Place. This is the gentleman's tonic. I've been coming here for like two years for eyebrow threading, eyebrow tinting. You can get waxes, I haven't yet. Also massages and haircuts all in one place and you get a little private room. Barber Barber have got shops up and down the country from Manchester, Birmingham and two in London. This one on Big Street is actually one of my favourites and it's one of the quieter ones. So pop in and get a haircut. Also, if Johnny, Johnny who created Barber Barber is in, make sure you get him. Always good chat and fantastic cuts. The other thing is they've just started their own training academy so they really do put a focus on cutting in the best possible way. Among Soho's back streets, peep shows and magazine shops, you'll find Jill and Co. Now it might look a bit like an 80s gym hall, but it couldn't be further away from that. Now it was opened back in 2010 by celebrity men's hairstylist Joe Mills, and he created it as his own version of a modern men's grooming space that combines traditional values and service with modern styling. Also, the staff here are beyond friendly and get a drink on arrival. Stretching from Green Park down here up to Oxford Street up there is Old Bond Street and New Bond Street. This is all like fast cars, fast money, all your designer shops around here. Mulberry right here is where I bought my first ever designer bag. I couldn't afford to eat, couldn't afford my rent, but I had a bag and I had a bag that I've still got to today. Now Fish is a Soho institution. They were housed in an old fishmonger for 30 years, but they've since moved to this first floor space on Water Street. For me, when you guys ask about products, I always recommend Fish as a great budget option for you. Go for their clay. Seriously, you will not regret it. We're now blessed with the good weather onto Carnaby Street. Now this is just off Oxford Street and just down from Liberty London. It's one of my favourite places actually. Came famous in the 1960s for its fashion and now it's got a mixture of independent stores and also chain stores. And for the eagle-eyed amongst you, you'll recognise the street from Street Styled, where I stopped some of the best dressed men in the city. And if you've not seen that, then please do press subscribe right now. It means you're not going to miss any of my videos as soon as they go live. Now the HP Spectra Folio can connect to internet anywhere that you are with its 4G connectivity with Intel processor. Also, it's easily adaptable with three ways to use it. Laptop mode, tablet position with the HP pen, or forward position, perfect for watching movies. And if you're out all day, like I was, 19 hours of battery life will ensure it won't go dead on you. Perfect for the guy that wants to look good, but also has to work on the move. Ruffians to me feels like it's got some similarities to Murdoch's. It definitely feels like that gentleman's barber. This one here in Covent Garden, it, to me it's accessible luxury. The people here really do look after you. With their stacked logs, wood burner and antlers above the fire, it really does feel like a high-end cabin retreat. Selfridges is one of my favourite department stores in London. House just on Oxford Street, it has everything. Food, interiors and my favourite level, menswear. From denim, contemporary and the big name designers, you can seriously get it all here, just get saving. And then this whole grooming section, which I absolutely love. Some brands that we know from Fragrance, and Halligan's, by Rado, Aesop, Hansel Fuko, all here. Also, good to see a full section for men's makeup, which you don't often see. Some brands here, including the new stuff from Dior. And then into the Aqua de Parma YBF. What I love about this place is you get the full Italian Barbier experience with Jason back here and all the Aqua de Parma products. You'll remember I was actually in here just after it opened with Jason, got a bit of a cut and a shave. You'll have seen it on manfromself.com. A very full on but enjoyable day of some of the best grooming places, some of my absolute favourite shops and 
the best barber shops in London. What I'll do is, I'll link them down below in the description so you can check them out. Maybe some you did know, and then maybe some hidden gems that you didn't know about. Also, the HP Spectrofolio is linked down below in the description. I kind of want to do this in a few more cities, so if you've got any suggestions, then let me know. Make sure you comment down below. Also, if you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then you're going to hit it. You're going to hit it right now. The button is just there. So some more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Head to my blog. It's there. And my social, including Instagram, is up there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.